Hey dudes, just got to the gym and we're about to work some arms, specifically biceps. So when you step in the gym and you look around, you'll see some dudes doing biceps. A lot of times they're gonna be doing it wrong. So we figured we'd make this video with three easy fixes to help you build your biceps bigger and better buffer. Whether you're new to working out or you've been working out for quite a while, it's either a good learning tool or a good reminder about these three easy tips that you can do to make your bicep curl even better. What you gotta remember with a bicep curl is it's going to be in isolation, which means it's only one joint working through the motion instead of two joints. So that brings us right into tip number one, which is going to be keeping your elbows tight and your shoulders back as you curl the weight up. A lot of people will take that weight and they'll swing it up utilizing the front delts to bring it to the top position, letting their elbows leave their body and come upwards rather than keeping their elbows really tight to their sides, acting almost like there's a bolt from their elbow to their body, keeping it in place, not being able to move. Once you stop moving the elbow up and down, you can put more tension in the bicep and less in the shoulder joint. Tip number two, the major motion in the bicep curl is elbow flexion but you also want to include the supinating action in the forearm. This is going to incorporate more muscle fiber activation as you curl because you're adding another movement into it and it's really going to work on that peak. So what you want to do is keeping those elbows tight and shoulders down, you're going to curl up and supinate the palms up as you curl and getting that maximum squeeze at the top position, pulling the pinky into the shoulder and this is really going to help with that softball kind of look in those biceps. Third tip is gonna be the tempo. The tempo of the exercise when you think of a metronome. So as you curl up, you wanna count up one, two, and then down one, two. Because there's a concentric contraction, which is on the way up, contracting the muscle, and the eccentric contraction is actually going to be the negative in the body controlling the lengthening of the muscle itself. So what you wanna do is curl up at a slow pace, supinating up, getting a good squeeze, and then as you bring it down, you wanna to count to the same kind of repetition as you go downward. So up one, two, down one, two, nice and slow, because the muscle has to work up, but then you're also making it working down and actually working against gravity as you lower the weight to the bottom position. So when you curl up, that's only half the battle. You wanna also make the muscle work as you bring it down to the bottom position as well helping build those better biceps. Well, that wraps it up, dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. These are some of the tips and fixes that we use to develop our arms too, and we've made some major gains, as you can see. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Oh, one thing to remember too, is that the biceps are one third of the arm, triceps being two thirds. So remember, if you want some big arm size, if you want the overall look, triceps are gonna be a huge major portion of the workouts and exercise that you wanna do in your arm workout. And we're gonna come out with a video specifically targeting the triceps, just like we did with the biceps here. But if you have any suggestions of any body groups that you wanna see, of any kind of fixes or tips, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks dudes, stay buff.